how's it going folks welcome back to another episode today well we are walking into a very overly crowded for some odd reason i just realized how many people are here there's a lot of people in this walmart right now and this is this is the notorious walmart we've gotten kicked out of here Ooh, countless times so that's neat thank god we're going back in with this huge fuzzy camera but today's objective is to do a little bit of crawfish hey. trapping bonzo you are just I, I think we need a lit roller. we start calling him dandruff danny over here it's not dandruff, it's not my white hoodie I oh just that's what he that's yeah that's what he wants he tell, he's a good he tells you what you want to hear okay folks anyways we're gonna run into walmart we've got to get a few items that person just about got a car crash probably look look behind you next time you pull out you know what i'm saying anyways um we got to get to we need to get some bait for some crawfish it is crawfish trapping season Season, and we haven't quite decided if we're gonna eat them or not. You're gonna eat them no matter what even Bears if they're just a little Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was gonna say if we only catch babies then we might just have to like feed the bass them if we catch kagers we got to feed bonzo so it's either feed bonzo or feed the bass is kind of the objective today we might also get some other snacks for our animals or animals they haven't had any like you know off normal food like the grain and the hand stuff so we might get some like i don't know some marshmallows you know pigs love them some marshmallows just any type of good old-fashioned snack uh for our pigs we'll kind of feed them and stuff but most important thing we got to get some meat for the traps we're gonna have a little competition bonzo okay really yeah i'm just making this up on the spot all right you pick a meat and i pick a meat and we see which trap catches the most crowd you guys stay tuned. Did you know that was a thing? Yeah, they're trying to copy the cane sauce. No. But I don't think it is. Is it only mayo and ketchup? They're on to us, I think. I don't know, I just I just saw that. Mayo Q and mayo ketchup. May mayo more. mayo chuck. Yeah, see, that's the thing is I don't I don't leave the house. Just sit in my backyard and pet Dale pretty much all day long. <laughs> um all right, I'll let you go first then. Oh, so man. So you get one meat, you get to pick your meat. What kind of meat do you think a crawfish would want to stick in its mouth? I'm thinking ham. You're you're a, you're thinking they're big ham guys, huh? Yeah, boneless classic ham. Just that's it. Yep. And I'm just gonna cut it up small pieces, and they're gonna love it. Just some ham. Yeah. He's just he's a simple man. You give him a task, he gets it complete. Ham is what he's going. With. I actually haven't put much thought into this. We've used like jerky. Jerky before has worked. I need something that just has a lot of scent, like just a. You know what I mean? Just a, just gives, it gives you one of those guys. Let's see, you want beef liver? You want a Cornish chicken hen? Rock Cornish, game hen. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Okay, this could this could do it. Let's see, so you got, you got ham. What could, what could they possibly like? Something that's, again, that's gonna have some of that, that good sentence. I want some that won't disintegrate. Um, Like dog food sometimes works, but it, it, it kind of disintegrates. So just kind of, I feel like that's not the deal. I think meat, meat's usually the deal when it comes to the crawfish game. So I'm thinking, do you think I'm better off going like, you With a big wiener? A wiener? You think it, you think a wiener or do you think like a raw steak? This is pork, turkey, and beef. So that's all everything. It's a little bit of everything you got going on. Pork, turkey, and beef. Yeah. I would say that would be it then. You think that's it? It's a Polish kibasa. Who doesn't love sure? a kibasa? I mean, that seems like it'd do the job. You know what I mean? Yeah. Bonzo knows what I mean. All right, let's look for some snacks for the pigs now. What if we just threw a steak in there? The old strip. What about uh? So we've used marshmallows before. What do you think about oh peach rings? That's what they oh, said. Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. We got to get the candy, candy peach rings. Candy, candy. Anyone seen candy? <laughs> oh, here's candy. We're good. We go. I see everything but. Right here. Oh, you got them. There you go. They're kind Some, of rings, but. Yeah, little peaches. I've heard a lot of you guys were commenting the peaches is what's the deal. So we're gonna get those. Those are for the pigs. The pigs are gonna actually love those little peach rings. I'm trying to think, what else? What else should we get? You feeling any? You feeling anything else? Uh, peanut butter. They like peanut butter. <laughs> the, the pigs? Yeah. You think they would just lick the, their lips a lot like a dog? <laughs> I don't know if you got I bet they probably would. So we've got, we're thinking that the peach rings for the pigs, but like obviously the goats, like lettuce, heads of lettuce, I feel like all of our big animals like. I mean, yeah. even the chickens like. What do you think? Some Napa cat? What, honestly, whatever's cheapest. That's 78 cents. I'm on that. I'm on that grind. Up. Like if you just threw a bunch of bunch of lettuce in there. What about red cabbage that's purple? I don't know if they have that. They might not be able to. That is true. They're, they're kind of. I would say just get like 16 of those. 16. <laughs> <laughs> Good riddance. All right, just get 16? like get like five. You guys got it? Here. <laughs> <Sure. laughs> Move your wiener. There you, you go. go. Yeah. No, you're good. I, no, I got you. Oh, what's going on here? <laughs> Let's go. All right. Are we good then? Yeah, yeah. I got my cabbage. Oh, I guess we're good. This is why we. You wonder why we get kicked out of Walmart. This is why. All right, folks. Well, we made it down to the old crawfish creek, and uh, well, how's it looking? Oh, I can hear it. She's flowing. Oh, god, don't fall. Oh, cheese and rice. 
Oh, look at that. That's quite the old waterfall there, Rick. Look at that. She's flowing like Bill freaking long, you know yeah. what I mean? We have trapped this spot before. We threw, like, yeah. I think we threw a crop trap one time last year when I moved in, but it was the other side. We threw them in both. This was the side that we actually caught stuff in, and it's like the skinnier uh, creek side. Oh, yeah. I'm on that vibe. I like this side better. It's a lot more narrow. It's less space for... You know, if the crawfish are here, it's a lot less ground for them to kind of hang out in. So we're going to go back and I guess we're just going to yeet them off this bridge here, tie them up. And you think our rope's long enough? We have ratchet straps. Yeah, we've got ratchet straps. We're going to have to build something. But let's go ahead and grab the traps and get all of our bait taken out. Get these guys set out and we'll come back tomorrow and check them. we got to go feed these animals, pigs and all the other animals, the cabbage and the peach rings. You guys stay tuned. <laughs> I didn't even say nothing. I don't want you laughing. Why? Why is that funny? Why are you hitting me? Is that funny? All right, so here we go. Uh, big Polish kielbasas made with pork, turkey, and beef. I feel like that's just like, that does not seem good. Smell this. That actually does smell good. He might have done the move here. That might be the deal. Wow. There's a decent chance. Are you just going to throw the whole hunk in there? I'll, I'll break it up a little bit. You're going to break it up a little bit? Yeah, but you haven't smelt the sausage. You haven't, you, haven't smelt, you haven't smelt my sausage yet, so you just wait. My sausage yeah. contains pork, turkey, and beef. It's a one of a kind. Oh, it's juicy. Oh, there is a container. Get a sniff of that. <laughs> what? You gotta cook that. <laughs> is it raw? Yeah. No, it's not. I don't know. Hold on. <laughs> is it raw? <laughs> It's a fully cooked, fully cooked. I told you. <laughs> you didn't know. I didn't know that like, prior too, but no, like, I mean, it tastes like ass, but <laughs> how do you it has a good like? smell. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped it. I <laughs> oh no. Oh, God. I don't want to. Uh, <laughs> give her the old sniff. It smells like a hot dog. Yeah, it smells like a hot dog. Yeah. It just tastes like a hot dog. You want to give a sniff? My wiener sniff? See, the nice thing about my wiener, I can just, I can just give it one of these. Actually, I should probably break it up just a little bit. Just because if you break it up, it'll, it'll have the scentage. You know? Sure. There goes my wiener. Oh my god! <laughs> Big daddy. <Wow. laughs> we got daddy in there. Shoo. So are we doing number wins or yeah. the most? I would say whoever catches the most will win. So we're gonna we're gonna tie them to the same string so they're right next to each other. So that way there's no like, you know, they're next to each other. Basically, they have two options. They can either go to the ham or go to the wiener. And we're going to leave it up to the crawfish to kind of decide their own fate. Um, but I, I think this will work. I think this is a it's a good strat. We got a little scentage going on. Both of Bonzo ripped his up in multiple pieces. I ripped one in four pieces and then just threw the whole wiener in on that one. And I think it'll work. I think it's got the right scentage for these crawfish. So let's chuck them off the bridge. I don't see any swimming down there. I think probably just in the middle of the creek, huh? Yeah, I would try to go on this side of the like concrete. Do you, what do you think about going next to the concrete? Yeah, that'd be fine. Do you think they yeah. they like? I've seen crawfish crawl like, live on, on it. it. All right, let her down. Look at that, they're right next to each other. Well, I, I've got a good feeling about this. We put it next to the concrete wall thing and some of the crawfish, I've seen them like cling on the concrete walls before. So we're gonna go ahead and leave this. It's actually pretty clean though. I don't see any fish, I'm kind of surprised. I thought I'd see more. So we're just gonna go ahead and tie up, tie this rope up here. Give her the old loopy knot here. I don't think they're going anywhere. A little bit of excess, it's all, not too bad. Oh, that's the end I'm looking for. <laughs> oh, wow. I was a boy scout once. Were you? No. Imagine. If anyone looks like a Boy Scout, it's you. No, it's not. <laughs> you look like a I Boy Scout. I do not look like a Boy Scout. You look like never a stereotypical. A I hated those people. Why'd you hate them? They were just nice people. I like the Girl Scout cookies. Oh yeah, I'm down That's with Girl Scout. It. Girl Scouts, because they make cookies. So just give it, give it one of these guys. This is just a little trusty loop I made. It's just like a little basket. Cutting it off would have been so much easier. Nice and neat, you know what I'm saying? We're out here being professional in stuff. Um, yeah, so we're gonna, I don't see any crawfish yet. I think I got one. You think you got one already? Yeah. I don't know if they're even in here. Last year, I'm pretty sure we got, did we get, we got a couple last year here. I wasn't here for that video. You weren't here? No. We got a couple, I'm pretty sure. Anyways, let's go feed all the animals. What up, little guy? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, hi. Hello. Hello. You want to be on the camera? Huh? What's going on? You having a fun day? Killing the game out here? Millie. Millie, you killing the game? What are you doing? Finn! What are you doing, Finn? Just like puppy galore out here. How's it going, little guy? Hey, 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 you calm down, you calm down. Oh, big stretch, big stretch, big stretch. 
Hi, puppy. Anyways, folks, well, we made it back home. We gotta go feed these animals. Um, but I did want to announce the name of the new puppy. Now, you guys commented. I mean, there was thousands and thousands and thousands. And you guys have some really good names. We've narrowed it down to one. And I think it's, I think it's a good name. Where is that dog at? Come here. Oh, you just hit her with, with, quit hitting her with your tail. Quit. Hey, buddy. So this girl's name right here, this cute little yellow lab, her name is Lucy. So we've got Finn, Millie, and Lucy. So we thought Lucy was a good name, just a good all-around farm dog, hunting dog. It's not like a really like mean name, like a, like a badass name, if that makes sense. But at the same time, like, I don't know, I thought it fit. She looks like a Lucy to me. Doesn't she look like a Lucy? Huh, Lucy. You look like a Lucy? Hey, you want to go... What are, you, what are you eating? Was that mud? Don't eat that. You wanna go hang out with the pigs? You wanna go see Dale? Well, this is Lucy right here. She's chilling. And uh, you wanna go see, you wanna go see Dale? She is best friends with Dale. Millie, I'm sorry, but Dale has a new best friend and it's Lucy. He's, you're, you're a good second. But Lucy is Dale's new best friend. So let's go see the animals. What, what are you doing? All right, see you guys down there. Come on, Millie. Come on, let's go for a ride. Come on, come on. You can do it. You got it. Yep. Put, the, put one foot in front of the other. There you go, bud. You good? Let's go. Millie, we going for a ride, buddy? Look at her. Millie is living her best life. We got, we got Uncle Bonds on the back taking care of the baby. We're headed down to the animals. Why we jumped in the mini truck? Hey, because why not? Because we have a freaking mini truck. So we're gonna. I'm gonna have to do some donuts back there, see if we can get bonds or thrown out of this bed. You guys stay tuned. Uh, llama Roads! What are you doing? You like cabbage? We got a hell of cabbage, Llama. Uh, Woo! This car stank, bro. <laughs> Woo! Oh. Llama Roads! There you go, Llama. See, it's nice being the tallest one, huh? You want some ca Look at them teeth, bro. Hey. Uh, llama Roads. Steve. Dale. You want some cabbage, Dale? Rick? You want some cabbage, Rick? There you go, Rick. Chief? Larry? Larry, you want some cabbage, Larry? La oh, La Dale. What do you think? What do you think? Larry? There you go. Dale loves him some cabbage. There you go. Yep. Bony apple feet. Llama. Llama Rose. Dale. <laughs> that mouth do, Dale. Dude, the goats love this. Carol, look at Carol. Is Carol, Carol, you eating it, Carol? Oh, uh, Tiffany's got it. Oh, Karen's for sure gonna eat it. Uh, Here you go, buddy. Uh, Karen. Karen didn't want it. Karen. Dale, you're about the only one that really likes this stuff. So you're, you're lucky because we have we have six balls of this just for you two boys to share. They love this snack. It's nice and healthy for them too. We need. We're gonna start. Can you not sneeze on me? You know it's the Corona season. Back up. Oh puppy. You want cabbage? I forgot. I totally forgot about you. I'm sorry. Am I being a bad dad? <laughs> I totally forgot we had a puppy. So I'm like, who's whining all the time? I'm so sorry. What I was gonna say is we are gonna plant a garden because uh, are both her babies on the wrong side of the fence? Oh, for crying out loud. Buttercup has two babies down here and they're both on the wrong side of the fence. The buttercup's stuck on the other side. Bonzo, you gonna go You gonna go rescue the, rescue the day? Anyways, what I was saying is we're going to, uh, we're gonna plant a garden. You want down? You want down, little girl? Hey, don't claw me. We're gonna plant a garden for these animals. Lettuce, cabbage, tomatoes, whatever. And it's literally just gonna be a giant, giant garden, only to produce food for our animals. So, you went down? You have fun. Here you guys go. Watch out, Carol! <laughs> Sorry, Carol! I should've yelled incoming, Carol! They kinda like it. Go ahead and spike it. Ah, I'll get you guys a real man. That's a real man right there. Yee -yee. Larry, you don't even like cabbage. The cabbage might not have been the deal. I feel like half our animals don't even like it. Dale and Rick. The chickens will like it. The chicken, the chickens. I mean, the donkeys. The, there you go. Shoo. The donkeys are eating it. Is Carol eating it? She took a huge bite. Carol. Look at that. Oh, good job, Carol. Get yourself some of that cabbage, Carol. Look at Carol. Carol loves herself some cabbage. She is happy. Oh, yeah. Rick is taking a fat, steamy one right oh, in front of him. Look at those. <laughs> Carol, you like cabbage on the side of blueberries? Look at Carol. Oh, she's munching right now. Llama Rhodes, Steve, why Why is it only the goats that like this? Uh, Dale, why do you like this ob obnoxiously more than any, any other animal? Hey, Rick, Rick, I have one for you. You realize I have one for you. Oh, gosh, she don't like it. She's about to kick your ass. Look at them teeth, though. The real question is th those babies, they're just, they're on this side. Hey, oh, you want more? Dude, you are a bottomless pit, my guy. Why do you like cabbage so much? Like, even Karen doesn't really like this cabbage. Oh, Karen. Karen, did you figure out what it was? Yeah, it, life isn't always about grain, Karen. You know that? Sometimes cabbage is your friend, you know what I mean? 
a head of cabbage a day keeps Corona away. Even her, look at the puppy. Look at the puppy. That's Karen. Hey, that's my hat. Oh, that's Larry. Hey, hey, you do you do, do you see that sheep? It's pissed. Lucy, that sheep is pissed at you. Lucy was trying to bite the sheep and she kept like stomping. Hey, you want some lettuce? Mm -hmm. Cabbage, whatever this is. Here you go, Karen. Karen, get yourself some cabbage, Karen. What about you? You don't want none? You don't want the smoke? I think I've spoiled the uh, animals to only like grain. Anyways, we're gonna give these guys the rest of this cabbage. I'll save two for the chickens. The chickens like it. And then we're gonna go feed the damn pigs. Hey, Lucy, 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 the cabbage is not for you, Lucy. Lucy, you're scaring the chickens. Uh-oh, Lucy, Lucy's on the prowl. Look at her, she's already hunting. She's hunting chickens. Lucy, you gotta be nice to the donkeys. <laughs> you get them, Lucy. Hey, Karen, be nice to Lucy. Bonzo, go ahead and give her a kick there. Oh yeah, it's like a party. It's like confetti, but lettuce. All right, you got the bubby? Pigs. Come here, pigs. Come on, pigs. Look at them sleeping. You guys can't even see them. We got peach rings. You know what peach rings are? Oh, there's a snake. Dude, the chickens will love that. Hey, hey. Oh, God, what's the color there? We should let the chickens just have at this thing. Yeah. All right, let's go do that real quick. Let's change of plans. Crikey, mate, look at this guy. Millie, it's a snake, buddy. We're gonna let the chickens peck out it. Jennifer, look at her, she's like, oh, she got it. She pecked the head. Ready? Oh, God. Oh God, get it. Hurry up, hurry up, it's gonna get out. Oh God, yeah. Get it, Nugget. Come on, get the snake, Nugget. Oh, what, Millie, no, Millie, Millie. You guys don't like snakes? I thought you guys ate snakes. Rooster, eat the snake. I thought chickens love little snakes like that. Am I just making that up? I don't know, I know about Do you worms. think a bass would eat it? Let's Maybe give it to the bass. Them. These guys don't like it. I mean, it's already probably gonna die because I think Hennifer took its head off. Let's go feed him to the bass. Millie, you want this guy? What's he doing? Oh yeah, I know. Come on. I don't know if the bass, the thing is the bass, you guys probably aren't even able to see them today because it's so cloudy and uh, water's just not clear at all. But we'll throw it in there, see what they think. All right, there you go. Oh God, oh that looks sick. He just got ate. Oh he ate it, they ate it, they ate it. Oh my God, oh my God, you guys can't see it. It's gone. I was not expecting that. Oh you, oh I can see him, he's hanging out of his mouth. Is he, okay, yes, he's, he's carrying it. Up. He's carrying it. Oh my! I know. I'm so sorry, guys. We're working on the clarity. I've got some new filters and chemical coming. Wow, that was sick. Note to self: you get another snake, you give it to the old bass. They freaking munched on it. You guys want some peachos? You want some peach rings? I heard this is your guys' favorite. Hey, hey, peacho, peacho, Mill. Er, <laughs> hey, Lucy, back up. It's peacho time. There you go. There you go. Oh, don't tell me you don't like that. Big boy. She liked it. Yeah. Big boy. You want a peacho? You want another one? Oh. He's sniffing it. Oh, she ate another one. She always eats anything. It's the boy that he oh. just... He's eating it. Is he eating it? Yep. Melly, calm down. No. No, we spit it out. We we have never Ow. we've never named these guys, have we? Should we name them? Let's name them right now. Really? Fonzo. You Someone said one cheese and one rice. You want cheese and rice? But they don't really look like cheese or rice. Cheese and rice? You like it? You're feeling it? Yeah, we're calling them cheese and rice. Right, which one's we're... cheese, which one's rice? This um, is cheese? That's cheese. That's cheese, yeah, that's, that's rice. rice. Okay. All right, what's up, rice? Cheese. What's up, cheese? Cheese and rice, calm down. Cheese and rice, calm down. You want some peach house, cheese and rice? Here, why don't I just do this? <laughs> that's so funny. Look at that. Hey, at calm it. down. Oh, he is chewing on one. Hey, calm down. Oh, he spit it out. Hey, right here, buddy. You want another one? Oh, yeah. That's your, that's a good stuff. Oh, Lucy. All right, okay. here you go. There's your, there's the rest of your peachos. Oh, hey, be nice to the puppy. Well, did you have fun on your little farm excursion? I'm sure you were probably ready for a nap already. You kind of look tired. Hey, can you not bite my boot, Rice? Easy. Hey, the peach, come here. The peachos are over here. Hey, your peachos are in there. Come around this little stick. Oh yeah, you want your peachos? Right there. All the peachos your heart could desire. There you go. What do you think, Lou? You ready to go home? She's ready to take a nap. Anyways, folks, there you go. Everything's fed. Oh, he on X game mode. Look at that guy. Am I funny or what? No. <laughs> I think I'm kind of funny. No, I'm not really that funny. <laughs> Who broke that shovel? That was a good shovel. Yeah, Anyways, everything's fed. Lucy's ready for her 10th nap of the day. Oh, they're on X game mode again. Oh God, chill. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Dude, I, you, they, they do it all the time, even when I'm not chasing them. They just rip. Hey, easy big boy, easy big boy. All right, I keep getting distracted, I'm sorry. I'll see you guys tomorrow when we check the traps. Shoo! Well, folks, it is the next day. We are gonna check them trap. We gotta see if Bonzo's ham beat my giant wiener. So, we're gonna go ahead and pull these. Like, what does it look like? We put the old Mondo X-ray vision optics on here. I mean... Is that my trap? They move. They move. my trap and then your trap's farther? Yeah, yours is closer. So you might have the advantage here by that concrete. Maybe. You go ahead and you go ahead and yank them up and see what we got. Oh! oh you got one. You see one? Yeah. Wait, where? It's oh, there is one. Awesome. There is one. You got, got one. one. Right you got there. one. Look at that. You got a little, little guy. You you got one. How did you only get one and I got zero? I blame the the t turn thing. Oh really? I think you, you're just a bag of wieners. You think you think I'm I'm a, I'm a trap of wieners actually? Yeah. So you got one? He's not an eater though. Maybe for the bass. I bet, I bet you could eat him. Oh, you not could much. eat that guy. It's not much meat. Kidding? Maybe. Look, he's got purple claws. He's kind of neat. I would say let's take let's take him out and throw him back in and then do another day. Okay. And see, yeah. I, do, you, well, do you think he'd crawl out, or do you think they would see there's one in there and be like, "Oh look, what do you think?" I I, I feel I'd like be it, it'd be like a decoy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right, I say we leave him. So we're one so, zero right now. We're one zero. Even if he crawls out, we got him out. Okay. Okay. Try a little bit further down this way. Oh, we're gonna run out of rope. All right. Let's move them. I say we move them down just a little bit to this little corner. We're gonna call this crawfish corner because I'm just optimistic. Oh, it's it's deeper there too. Maybe that's the strap. All right, we're gonna go ahead and tie these guys up and uh, see you guys tomorrow. Shoo! Well, folks, we got to slay a prop, okay? It's the next day. We're out here checking these minnow traps. And, uh, well, I don't see any minnow traps or ropes. The boys, they drove down this road on the way here and said they didn't see any. And I just want to make sure they didn't fall. Because what if, you know, what if the knot just came undone? My knot was pretty good, though, I feel like. That would have been... It was, I'm an expert knot tire. I don't see them. Let me check. I'll just make sure, because, I don't know, maybe for some reason if it floated off. No. Because if, if it floated down there, you would see that you would see the green line. Like, there were, that's just it. There was 30, 40 feet of... Actually, I think that's like a 50-foot rope down attached so you would still see it and it's gone that means that gets them fired up that means somebody stole our minnow trap. what on earth would compel somebody to steal a ten dollar minnow trap what does that get you in life unless they wanted the wiener in there honestly the person who sold this probably is a big fan of wieners so i would you know if, if that's the case we're gonna reset them we'll go have to go run up and go get some more traps but this this time we're not gonna put wieners in them so for you individual if you're watching this video because you stole my minnow trap it's because you like wiener and we're not gonna put wiener in this one so if you steal this next one then then i guess that's that's up to you but I don't, I, I don't see them. They're gone. Just, why? Give me one good reason why you gotta steal it. Like, yeah, yeah. You, congrats. You got $10 minnow trap and a freaking soggy wiener. If that makes you happy in life, then I don't know what to tell you. You got problems in your life if that's what makes you happy. <sighs> Just frustrated, man. I'm frustrated because you had one in yeah, yours. They stole my crawfish. They that's stole, the, they stole the crawfish. Take the traps, give me my crawfish. Now we don't have a crawfish. So we'll run up and uh we'll let's go, go i guess we'll go grab the traps and non-wieners because these guys are obviously big fans of wieners whoever stole them and maybe some bacon i think i've got some leftover bacon from breakfast we could put in there i know crawfish like bacon and maybe dog food something different maybe it'll work maybe it won't but then we're also going to get like more like incognito rope like before there was 50 feet of bright green rope sitting here that pretty much just said hey if you like wieners come grab it which obviously there's an individual around here that lives near me that's the thing is like i only have like five neighbors so <laughs> one of you people if you're watching this you freaking suck and uh We'll find you. Just letting you know. We'll find you. Don't even worry about it. Just go ahead and steal it. Steal it again. See what happens. See what freaking happens. Anyways, see you guys in a minute. Boom! We got two more crawfish traps here, folks. What do we got? Oh, here's the bait. Here's the bait. Dog food. Bacon. No soggy wieners for the individual that stole it. Um, unfortunately, as much as you enjoy soggy wieners, um, you're not going to get that from us today. So, go. which one are you picking? I'll let you choose. Since you had a crawfish, you get redemption. I'll go bacon. Dang it. All right, he's a big bacon guy, so I'll go throw a little dog food in this. Oh, bacon. There you go. A little dog food, it's not as much as I thought, but it, I went with the smaller pieces because they swell up in the water, so it won't take as much space up, I guess, if that makes sense. I don't really know what I'm saying. You got, that bacon's gonna get them. That you want all of it in there? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. Bacon's gonna do it, that's, that's, who doesn't love bacon? Everybody loves bacon. The only, actually, the only person who doesn't like bacon is the guy who stole my minnow traps because he enjoys soggy wieners. Uh, that's probably the only individual that doesn't. So here's our rope. It's a little bit less suspicious, and we're going to try to hide it. I will say, if somebody steals our traps after we do this, then I vote we declare war, and um, we'll find you and, you know, consult the authorities, and it'll be war. So if you want to if you want to have that war and, you know, you want to go to jail for stealing crawfish traps, that's a pretty good thing to get wrapped up for. So you guys go ahead. But anyways, let's see if we can get this out in the water. All right. You got any preference here? You want down there? I'm here. Just trying to think about how to hide. I would tie the rope right here. Yeah. On this, you don't have to. You will never see it. Oh, 
Oh yeah, you can't see it. Oh, there's no way. Incognito. No way. All they're gonna see is this. So if they steal, that means they're really looking for it. They're really looking for it. Probably have a pretty good chance now. Especially because we got bait. Oh yeah. It's not a big green rope. It's not as obvious. So hopefully, whoever it is out there that's stealing crawfish traps, if you're watching this, don't be an idiot. Quit stealing crawfish traps. I mean, that's just that's just stupid. But we got her out. We'll give the old dangle. See if see if Bonzo or or myself can catch any crawfish. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, folks, it is the next day, and guess what? You freaking soggy wiener liking son of a gun. You didn't find the traps this time, did you now, buddy? No, you didn't. We got it still, Bonzo. Look, the soggy wiener bandit. He didn't, uh, he didn't start. You know why? Because we didn't use soggy wieners. Yeah. He's just such a big fan of soggy wieners. He's not a fan of soggy bacon, just the wieners. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and pull these up. Hopefully, we get some uh, crawfish. Millie, Millie, why, why are you going down there? Let's see if we got anything. Before I pull this up, we're taking bets. You were bacon. I think bacon's going to do it, but I would say there's going to, we had one last time, so I would say there's going to be one in the bacon and none of the dog food. What do you think? Are you optimistic? Two in mine, one in yours. So you're, you're more optimistic. Two yeah, and one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. I see one. I see two. Oh, they each have... Oh, there's oh. three! There's three! There's three! I see three in the bacon. I see, see three in the in bacon. Yours. I see one in mine. Oh, there's two! No, I got two. Oh, you did get I got two. two. Oh, and you got four! <laughs> What? Wow. Look at this. Okay, so I got I got two little ones, but you got some keggers in there. Look at he's he's a feisty son of a gun. You see him fighting right now? He looks like freaking Mr. Krabs. Oh, wow, look at that guy. Dude, you, the bacon got four and the dog That's food the got two. Better than the way, ham. way better than the ham and the soggy wiener. So you soggy wiener man, you can have all the soggy wieners you want. I don't even want it. I want bacon. Bacon was the deal. These are pretty good size. We're, we're gonna go ahead and take these back and uh we're gonna feed them to our pet bass. This is gonna be some filet mignon for these guys. They're actually pretty good size. Couple like couple of them in mine are pretty small, but Bonzo's trap got some big ones, so let's go back and feed them to the fish. How's it going, Bass? You guys still have some goldfish. I don't know, you guys aren't gonna be able to see this. The pond is still dirt. Actually, honestly, it's cleaner than it was yesterday. I cleaned the filter. It is cleaner than yesterday, but it's still dirty, so throw one of the crawfish in there. Oh, you can see him. You can good. see him, but he's gone. Yeah, I know, folks. We're, wor we're working on cleaner water. We've got a polarizer on the lens. Doesn't really help all that much. No, I can't. I can't see him. Right, we're just gonna go ahead and just dump these guys. This is good protein for him. There you go. That was a total of. Oh, I put a piece of bacon with that guy. He's good. He's definitely just gonna stay under that rock now. Yeah. You get him, Millie. You tell him. But we put that was six or seven. How many crawfish was it? That'd be six. We got six crawfish. Thanks for that. We had six crawfish stocked in here. Not really bad for one night's worth. I think I think definitely that the uh, the old bacon's definitely the strap. I think the bacon's gonna be the deal if we want to catch any more crawfish. Um, we're still waiting on Beamer. Beamer, he said he's gonna get some crawfish here soon, so we should be able to get some like actual big crawfish and big shipments of them um, to to throw in here because I think that is honestly the best source of protein for a large mouth is crawfish. I mean these big goldfish aren't that bad either, but um, that's pretty much it. I mean it went from throwing out trap, catching a crawfish, and then waiting. Traps getting stolen throwing new traps out and then having more crawfish in there. So it ended up working out. Whoever the soggy wiener liking kid that is that lives around here, congrats, you have two minnow traps. And that's pretty much all I've got. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys want any Guggen Squad gear, hat, hoodie, whatever it might be, and baits, all things Guggen Squad, use promo code FLAIR to get 15% off your purchase. It'll be linked down in the description down below, GuggenSquad.com. Go check it out and uh, comment down below if you guys have any ideas on how to clean up this water. Because right now, I'm talking to a few like aquaologist people, biologists, aqua pe people that manage ponds and they're, they're working on some stuff for me too. Chemicals, filters, stuff like that. Um, for right now, this pond's nickname is the Milk Toast and uh, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for coming in. Peace.